In a race against time. No hard evidence has turned up. Police need your help. The motive for the crime is still a mystery. Okay, so we got that one. There's one man putting a face to okay. the faceless. He was a murder suspect. This one uh, was a robbery suspect, a sexual assault case. For 37 well, years, Michael Street. Um, I can just go in there and, and, and paint. Has been I'm using an here, unlikely here, weapon. Here, and I'll just uh, start drawing. To fight that's, crime. That's why I start calling myself the sketch cop, because people say, what do you do? I says, I'm a, I'm a cop that draws. It was a love of comic books that drew story. Street to art. Well, I always wanted to be a cartoonist, a Disney comic artist. It was know, a desire to serve that pulled Street to law enforcement. So when I got in the police department, I had to leave art behind. It was never very far behind. But so at exactly the right one. time, his yeah, love and his desire met. A composite sketch came on, and I was floored. I was, I was like, oh my God, that's it. That's how I'm going to mix my art with my love of public service. He's Baltimore so Police's only forensic TV sketch stuff. artist, and the city's crime-ravaged streets keep him as one of the busiest in the country. Like when I first started here, I did like 154 cases my first year, and that was more than an individual sketch artist for the NYPD. Street spent countless hours studying girl. forensic the, art. Uh, the type of mouth that had that downward angle. The eyes are really good. The broad base nose hairstyle similar. He uncovers the criminal's face by getting into the victim's mind. I'm still floored. I'm, I'm still amazed that people can can remember that much and have the presence of mind to be able to recall later and be able to work with me and trust me enough to be able to come up with something like that. I'll be forever amazed. In the digital age, with surveillance cameras and cell phones constantly recording, most cash-strapped city budgets are cutting out forensic sketching. A lot of police departments don't offer uh, full-time sketch service because it's expensive. Um, it takes a lot of time to train somebody, and um, it's just something that you don't see every day. It's necessary, but good ones are hard to find. That's why Streed has turned the tables. I developed a sketch uh, program. Two software systems. They come with thousands of preloaded facial features to help other departments beat the clock. With just the click of a mouse, they can build thousands of faces. A, a crime scene technician, a secretary, a patrolman. So instead of having one sketch artist, now they got 20, 30, 50 sketch artists, depending on how big their department is, and 24 7, and they can catch more crooks that way. Nearly 100 departments across the globe are now using Street software. You know, what if you're replaced by software? I said, as long as it's my software, and I have a chance to influence the way that it's the, the technology is implemented and the way it's used, then I'm okay because at some point in time I have to put my stylus down and leave it over to somebody else. For now, in Baltimore, when every minute matters, it's up to Street to strike before the next criminal does. Joy Lambert, Fox 45 News.